there's just something about the Carolina blue. Like there's something about it, especially all over the Jordan 4 that just puts you in an amazing mood. Unless you took an L, then you're not in a great mood. And I terribly apologize. It's absolutely nothing personal. Not a shot at you. Not trying to make it worse. I get it. It's hunger kicks out here. It's a struggle to get a pair. Thankfully, yes, I secured a pair. So let's go ahead and break down the Air Jordan 4 UNC in a grade school six and a half. You guys already know you'll get the on foot. You'll get the unboxing. I did a lace swab just to see how I like it. Fits and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish it. What's up, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video, Talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh Change. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another video. If you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Truly appreciate it. Two Swoosh Crew, you guys are amazing as always. And we are diving straight into this. It may be a little bit different. It'll probably be just a lot of different, you know, just the B roll, all of that worked into here. So just uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But it's another Jordan release. Uh, I can't say Friday or Saturday. That's what we're used to. No, this was on a Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about. I don't know how I feel about any of like, the random releases. But the fact of the matter is, we received uh, a drop from Jordan Brand for the UNC Four. Now, what's really interesting is this isn't anything special, and a sneaker life pointed that out in relation to UNC. So we're getting a lot of UNC colorways and. I, I mean, I listen, I don't knock it because the shirt I'm actually wearing, I want you guys to be able to see it, right? The shirt says the original Game Changer. This is actually from Jordan's college days. So I just want you guys to be able to see that because he was amazing. He was an amazing college player. I still don't think we all knew just the height that this man would reach. I don't think we knew that, but nonetheless, here we are. And yeah, you see that little Funko guy right there? I don't do a whole lot of Funko Pops, okay? I started down that road some years ago, and then I realized just how expensive that can become as well. And I said, no, listen, I spend enough on clothes and kicks. We're not adding something else that I'm going to end up buying, you know, ridiculously. So only ones that I really got into were the Michael Jordan ones. So I do have the University of North Carolina Michael Jordan one. So he'll make an appearance on Instagram if you follow me at talks.with.tj there. So this drop happened, went, picked up my pair. Now, just to give you guys some insight, uh, it was a little bit better of a release in terms of stores having pairs, I believe, like in hand or on hand versus how it's kind of been where you have no idea if a store even has them. And a lot of stores didn't get shipments in. Not the case here, but they still may be limited on, let's say, all of the sizing. Like, yes, we had grade school, but we had a very limited size run for preschool and we didn't even get infant in, which is... A shame because I try to hook up like all of my friends' little babies. Like if I can gift them, if Auntie TJ can gift them some cakes, I do my best to, you know, make that happen, but not happening here. So if you took an L, continue to check back with your stores. Again, it's a crazy time. So you have no idea if your store could possibly get pairs in. Now, if they do, there's a likely chance that they'll get thrown onto the app and go through a raffle. That's absolutely nothing that I can control, but just letting you know that means, hey, you may not have to like jump all the way out the window to go and buy this pair immediately because if pairs release and you get a chance to hit, hitting for retail is really what it's all about because everybody doesn't want to pay resale and I respect that. And if you do, there are so many avenues that you can go to secure uh, a pair. Like you guys already know, I let you know earlier today in the, in the previous video, yeah, I put a bit in on StockX for the uh, Alele May <laughs> Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort. So I'm really hoping that that works out for me. But let's dive into these kicks as well. You've been able to, you know, see them, what they look like, all that good stuff. So when it comes to the Jordan 4, specifically for GS, we're not getting a special box. Understand there's a huge difference between a men's release and a GS release for Jordan all the time. I've said this in previous videos. Boxes are not the same. The shape of the shoe cannot be the same. The details on the shoe are very different to the point where the bottom, the outer sole may say something different than what a men's pair will. Now, that's not to knock men that don't know that. That's just to kind of give you a heads up. It's going to be different, right? It's this box. In terms of the suede on here, now, it's good suede, especially to say that it's on a grade school pair. It's good suede. Could it have been better? 
not necessarily the suede better, the quality control could be better. Like, why is it when, and this, I don't know how mass a release this is, but why is it we can't get consistent quality Jordan brand? And don't tell me it's not totally impossible to do because I've seen other brands do better on suede shoes. So that's just all I'm asking. That's all my little Jordan brand heart is asking. Can we just get a little bit better quality control? But outside of that, beautiful sneaker now i know just the tag on the tongue it's a no-go for some people like you just don't want to see it some of you have cut the tag off some of you have probably contemplated gluing the tag down because it gets in your way the tag doesn't bother me it really takes me back to those old school college jersey days i love it so i have no problems with the tag whatsoever um again i know some people do i'm just i'm not that person i don't have a problem with the tag now beyond the tag there's no hang tag that comes with the four. Uh, that would have been cool actually to see a hang tag. I also think like Nightwing said uh, on wear testers, something like Nike Air on the back actually would have been cool because we are paying homage to like where it all started. And that was at North Carolina. So I think, uh, I think Nike Air on the back would have been cool, but I'm not a Nike Air snob. So like, I don't mind, it doesn't have to have it. Like I have Jordans that don't have it on the back and they're still just as important and just as special. Um, I like kind of the play on the whole cement thing and i guess uh, i guess i'll grab this what the four right i i like kind of that play on there so again it's similar to kind of what they did there similar to the you know white cement four i'm a fan of that i appreciate that uh again we don't have any extra laces so the lace swap you guys are seeing i took a black lace from another pair i believe i took it from the jordan ma2 with the uh blue and yellow pair i actually just took it from there and swapped because I just wanted to see something different. And I actually like the black. The only problem is the laces are way longer. So I had to double knot them. That's just what I had to do. It's not something I absolutely love or wanted to do. But this is where we are. So you guys are able to see what it looks like with one black lace and one blue lace. Will I leave it that way? Probably because I get really lazy and Jordan 4s are a pain in the butt to relay. So it might stay that way for a minute. Now let's get to uh, fit. I wanted to be fun and casual somewhat and yeah just absolutely myself like i am with all of the fits so you guys are going to see three different fits here the very uh first one we have a cropped nike crew neck we actually have on the richie lee shorts uh the utility shorts and then of course crew socks i'm, I'm a big crew sock person and the four so nothing crazy just if i have to throw something on running around especially in the spring not really in the summer because it'd be too hot for that cropped sweatshirt but running around in the spring listen spring was made for sweatshirt and shorts that's perfect combo and i will rock that to the death of me in the spring and then for that second outfit you guys are seeing uh i totally forgot that i even had these pants but these are gray jordan pants i picked up off ebay like a few years ago absolutely love the pants they actually used to fit like a little bit uh bigger or oversized and they don't now so your girl is appreciative of that uh so i love these pants they are uh, this is like a polyester nylon material they're meant for outdoor basketball don't tell me why don't ask me why there's a difference between indoor and outdoor <laughs> basketball pants but that's what they were marketed as so i picked those off off ebay so a while ago you have a white tank and then i know some people may not think to do this but i'm cool with it just throwing a shampoo ambre denim shirt and to me it completes a really athleisure outfit because hey it could be way more casual on top if i just chose to switch to jeans or a different kind of pant and i didn't want to just go with an olive pants you know pant uh combination because you guys are probably expecting that so i'll give you something different with the gray pants and i think it goes well with the gray that is in the sneaker third we went really bright here guys like super bright and i am i love it okay it's spring like have fun be bright be energetic and this is actually inspired by Brittany elena she had a fit similar to this now it wasn't like this these exact colors but i remember it was yellow and some bright green pants and some kicks and i was like i wouldn't have thought to pair that together but I like it, so let me try it when I have a chance. And this was the chance with the Supreme tee from Best Laces Out and then the orange, black, and white um, tuned Nike Air pants and then the four. So again, 
orange and blue always go together. You know, I'm not sure if you know that, but orange and blue are perfect complementary colors. So anytime you can put those together, put those together, the yellow is bright, it's loud, it pops. And I think it sets the outfit off really, really well. As always, I need you to sound off in the comments which fit is your favorite, one, two, or three. And then how did you, you know, how'd you do? I see a lot of W's on my timeline on Instagram, okay? A lot of W's and that's what we love to see. Um, again, if you didn't hit and you have the wherewithal to be patient, it may work out for you. If you choose to go on the secondary market, I totally get it. I'm having to do that for the ones. And if that doesn't work out, then... We'll see. Again, it's hunger kicks. It's it's a little bit of a struggle, but I respect Jordan Brand uh, using this to their advantage. They never need a in-depth backstory to go along with any university blue Jordan they choose to release. They don't. And like anybody noticed that? We don't need to go into something in depth. Like, yes, I could rattle off uh, MJ's like stats at North Carolina, but that's not even needed. We know the man, the GOAT, attended North Carolina, and then he was drafted to the Chicago Bulls. And that's really it. That's like Murder, She Wrote. We know that. So we don't need anything else to go with it. And I respect that. Sometimes we just get to appreciate a shoe for what it is. And... That's a blessing sometimes. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Again, if you're brand new and you like what you see, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. Have a video up tomorrow as well as Friday, and we'll see you about the weekend. But at your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.